Welcome back again. Welcome to this next segment in your journey of learning to play guitar. Now today we're really going to take it to the next level. We're going to step up a gear. Um, I'm going to show you this minor scale. Um, if you think back, we already learned the blues scale. And um, really they're very similar, but the minor scale has just got a few more notes in it. And, and what that means is it allows you to play a lot more interesting stuff with those extra notes. So instead of talking about it, let me just demonstrate it to you now. Okay, and you can use those notes to play all the solos and, you know, the cool stuff you want to play. Okay, so you get the idea. So once again, I, I don't think I need to tell you again, really. I think you understand at this stage how important it is to learn these things. And once you've learned them, then you can go on and play all those songs you want to play, okay? So let's begin. Now, like the blue scale um, in the key of A, this is the minor scale in the key of A, starting on fret 5 on the 6th string. So if you give that a pluck, and then step up onto the 3rd finger onto fret 7, and then the little finger on to fret 8. And then go to the 5th string and do the same thing, fret 5, fret 7, fret 8. Good. So let me just demonstrate that from the 6th string. And then you're going to go to the 4th string at fret 5. And then fret 7. And now this time you're going to go to the third string, but you're going to move down a fret. So now you're on fret four on the third string. So the position of our hand has moved down. And then middle finger plays fret five. And little finger goes to fret seven. So let me demonstrate that from the start. Five, seven, eight. Five, seven, eight. Five, seven. And then four, five, seven. Okay, good. Now the second string starts on fret 5 as normal, middle finger to fret 6, and little finger to fret 8. And then the first string on fret 5, fret 7, and then fret 8. Okay, so let me demonstrate that in slow motion. Okay, and as I usually say, you know, pause the video if you need to and practice that now and make sure you got it nice and smooth. Because the next thing I'm going to ask you to do is to so play starting with the little finger on fret 8. Step down onto fret 7 and then fret 5 on the first string. And then move to the second string, fret 8. Middle finger fret 6, off to fret 5. And then the third string, fret 7, with the little finger middle finger onto fret 5 and then of course we go down onto fret 4 on that string and then you're going to go to the fourth string fret 7 then fret 5 and then the fifth string 8 7 5 and then finish on the sixth string 8 7 5 okay so at this stage you should be able to play it all the way through and all the way backwards nice and smoothly And remember, as usual, you know, it's not a race. I don't expect you to be, be able to play it perfectly straight away. Take your time. Be patient with yourself. There's no rush, you know. Okay, now, the second part of this lesson is what I'm going to teach you, which is really important, and that's how to use the plectrum to get the most speed out of your playing. So, normally, when people learn to play, they start by just plucking downwards. But what I'm going to ask you to do, and this is the key to speed, when combined with hammers and pull-offs, it'll all become clear shortly. Um, I want you to pluck downwards and upwards with the plectrum, like this. So what I want you to practice doing is to go all the way through the scale, plucking down, then up on each note, like this.
okay now I really want you to thoroughly practice that and of course you'll go all the way down and all the way back again and learning to pluck down and up is the key to speed because when you watch me you know play um, you know a bit of a solo if you watch my right hand and you'll see my plectrum it's not just going down it's going down and up <laughs> Okay, I think you understand because that effectively allows you to play twice as quickly as if you, uh, as opposed to if you were just plucking downwards. I hope that makes sense. So there you go. That's what I want you to practice today. You've now got the minor scale to practice and the down up technique with the plectrum. And once you've got used to plucking down up on each note, what you can do is pluck down on one note and then up on the next and then down on the next note and then up on the next all the way through the scale so you're plucking each note once but you're doing them alternately down and up I hope that makes sense I'm sure it does okay so that's enough of me talking now I think it's time for you to go and get on with that go and learn it you know and do it thoroughly be patient with yourself go and enjoy it and I'll see you in a few days for the next segment of this e-course and eventually we're going to use these scales and I'm going to teach you how to improvise you know so you can play all that cool stuff yourself and make it up as you're going along so you've got all that to look forward to so bye bye take care I'll see you in a few days for the next segment of this course